This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics. We're selling this vehicle on eBay and elsewhere. Um, this is a really cool vehicle. Uh, it's a depth recovery. It, it is a 2004 Chevy Tahoe. It is a two-wheel drive LS with a 5.3 liter motor. It was sold to us directly from an insurance company. It was a theft recovery. It was not wrecked, but as they do with most theft recoveries, they gave it a salvage title. They don't want the liability of someone killing themselves and then finding out Allstate owned it and you said it was a clean title and it was. it's your fault and you owe us $10 million. So they take their $10,000 or $20,000 snap now rather than one successful million dollar lawsuit. So that's why it is not wrecked. It is as straight as a frontline vehicle can be. Um, got a few little rock chips. It needs a set of tires as you can tell in that picture. Here's some of the rock chips, but uh, it's pretty pretty normal. If it was a white truck, you wouldn't even notice them, but it's blue, blue and black and green. Show them all. But it's really, actually, it's 89,000 miles. It's not too bad. Um, it has a 5.3 liter motor in it. it. Runs really well. As you can tell, it's running. Those tires are gone. So if you need tires, um, if you want us to help you get tires, you can go to Discount Tires online find the set of tires that you want we get uh, you pay you you uh, talk to Thomas at their Santa Cruz location here in Tucson and Thomas will take your credit card and give you 10 percent about 10 or 15 percent off a set of tires and you also get them tax free and uh, he'll have them sent over to the shop right next the discount tires near us and we'll have them put on for you um, it is the way to go. These tires are gone, man. You can't even get to Phoenix with these tires. So, you know, if you're going to ship it, it's not a big deal. But if you're going to drive it home and pay the tax and dock fees and restore fees, you're going to need to to do that. Okay? I don't want anyone getting hurt. Um, they stole, uh, they punched out this uh, lock cylinder. So we had to put a new actuator inside the door, and they damaged the paint around it. I don't know if you can, that's the wrong color touch-up paint. That they put on that but uh, we put a new actuator in so that it would lock with the remote everything would be okay let's see all right let me look at this tires here's the driver rear tires you can see there's nothing there <laughs> so this is the biggest issue it has it has a little it's like someone got too close to the pole at the uh, drive-thru but Really, I would just get a, a tube of $10 touch-up paint and fill that in and call it a day because it's really it's not worth the $300 to do, maybe two or $300 to fix it. It's just not worth it. Let's see. Running through the back seat here. The, the seats and the interior are in really good shape. It's got rear air, which I have running right now. It's 103 or 2 or 4 or something like that today. It's missing this lens, which is like a $5 lens I just noticed. If we have one at my uh, yard, I will uh, put it in there. If not, you, know, you can find them on eBay for like a dollar, two dollars, or something like that. Obviously, it's missing the third seat. It's plumbed for it, so you can get one or you can not get one. It doesn't really matter. Um, you know, most third seats end up in the garage on the floor. And people have to have them. Um, when I buy one, I for myself, I always sell it because <laughs> I want the room, not the seat. But the seats are really cheap. You can buy those seats, uh, gosh, two or three hundred dollars, all over the place, junkyards, and this is a very common uh, fabric pattern. Um, so you should have no problem if you really need it. Uh, anyway, there's really, gosh. Not much to talk about here. The seats look great. There's a couple little, well, right in the center under the seat. It's like stains, it's not a, not burns. Um, let's see, that opens up. It's got a little bit of the die peeling thing, which is actually a very low amount of that for a, for a Chevy Tahoe Silverado uh, deal here. I'm gonna open up the hood for you so you can see underneath it. Put my sign away first.
anyway, it's about 109,000 degrees today. And it's, uh, the whole state of Arizona is on fire right now also, which is nice. They won't let us uh, cut all the dead wood out or all the undergrowth or cut any fire breaks when you know this is going to happen. So everything burns. Including all the stupid critters are trying to save. They're all dying too. <laughs> Bizarre. Anyway, that's my political statement for the day. I mean, it's uh, very straight under the hood. You can hear it running. Your 5.3 liter. Alright. Let's get in here and get out of the heat. Wow. It says it's only, it says it's only a hundred. Uh, I would say that that's not accurate. It's got to be a hundred and two or three. Anyway, there's your uh, Odo. As you can see, the tachometer doesn't work right, which is very, Google this people. Instrument clusters on GMs and Tahoes and anything that's like 03 to 06, they all do this. And it's a $300 fix, which is worthless because it'll work half the time and whatever. You know, I don't know why anyone even needs a tachometer. Most cars, well, not most, but about half of them don't have them. Um, let's see. So you've got 89,408 miles. Here's the uh, toe on and off. You've got uh, tilt right here. You've got all your lights, your light switches there. You've got cruise control here. You've got an aftermarket radio here. Let's see, turn that on. Now, and uh, try to make, make amends to my constituents, and of course, there's that. I'm talking about Anthony Weiner, that's a funny one. Overhead controls here. If you can hear that, that's running in the back. And it's really nice in here. I can I can attest to the fact that the AC works. If it didn't work, I wouldn't be doing this right about now. I'd be in the office waiting for it to the sun to go down a little bit. Anyway, uh, this is a really nice rig. Um, it's going to be at a very fair price. You know, uh, all I would do is get a touch of, can of touch-up paint for ten dollars at your local GM dealer and uh, get a set of uh, tires. You know, some knockoff uh, Kumos or or you know one of those things that are on this car probably be five hundred or five fifty for a set through us. And if you did it yourself, probably six six hundred and fifty at home for you. Um, but uh, this is a way to save many thousands of dollars on exactly the same vehicle. Fortunately, I'm kind of in a construction zone and the cops are like trying to raise money for our city, so I don't really want to get a ticket, but this is a nice smooth road. Anyway, it's, it's just a nice car. Zero to fear here. Please bid. Uh, what you feel comfortable bidding, but uh, please hurry and do a good job because <laughs> I have a feeling this won't be around as long as uh, our other Tahoe, our 2000 Tahoe. Um, this one is really nice. Have a great weekend. Enjoy the uh, video, and I'm going to go swimming now.